all right what's up guys i know it's been a long time since i posted uh, but in this video i'll be showing you guys how to remove the rear deck of your e46 uh reason why is because it was already faded it, it looked purple on the back deck so i end up spraying that and also changing my speakers on it and uh the other thing that i'll be showing in this video is um how to remove plastic dip um, I actually changed the tires and the rims. I don't have those 18s by 10s anymore. So I'm running the original OEM stock 325CI six spokes wheels that I have. So use, uh, if you guys want to stick around and check that out, I'll show you guys. And at the end of the video, I'll explain why I sold them. And I'm actually looking for some 18s by nine and a half max square setup or stagger we'll see what happens but after you guys watch this video we're we'll be all cut up to what i've been doing this video is from two weeks from now so it's so all that will be all together within this video so it will be a long video if you guys are interested in sticking around you know thank you and if not then you guys just could skip and see how I remove the rear deck I spray paint it after that I, I move on for the wheels how to take off the plastic dip there's two methods there's kerosene which I give it like a, a rating of 3 out of 10 so it sucks and number two will be Gugon which I give it a good 8 because uh, for Gugon it's mostly scrubby so it's a pain in the ass so stay tuned guys hey what's up guys so check this out um, so I decided to repaint this the rear deck um, the only reason why is because if you guys can see I'm actually using my flashlight if you guys can see it's actually uh, fading it's uh, super faded um, I do have ceramic tint 5% on the back that's why it looks clear um the last owner um so this i mean i had this car for six seven years already so now this the back was actually already fading and um so what i end up doing is i got a it's uh i forgot i forgot the name but you actually use it uh to paint anything that's uh fabric now you could paint your jeans, shirts. So that's what I used in the beginning, but it's already fading. But that was before I actually decided to take out the the cover. So I didn't go all the way in the back. But you know, it got to the point where I should really see that it's uh, even the the mesh for the for the speakers are cracked already this plastic's cracked already um yeah it just it doesn't look good so that's what i'm gonna do uh i'll show you guys how to remove it um and also the only reason i i found out how to remove it because uh i had to change my speakers but later on i found out that you could actually just pop those bad boys out they pop out and you're able to change the speakers but i learned the hard way by taking everything apart uh i don't know if you see that but that's the reason why i don't have those taps right there for the headrest i'll probably go to the junkyard or keep it like this all the way down uh, i already removed the passenger uh side pillar so it's already I already took that off as you guys can see now I'm just gonna let you guys know it is an old car and a lot of plastic clips will uh, end up breaking just because it's old plastic I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna put you guys on my head and then uh, we'll go from there all right guys the tools that you'll need it's some pliers uh, just in case uh, this tool to remove any clips highly recommend it or if not you could use a screwdriver a flathead I'm sorry 
and you will also need a 13 yeah it's a 13 uh, yeah I'm using a small ratchet so you will need a, a small 13 13 mil and we will need this one um the number are erased but you will need this one's for the side pillar so there's a it's in here i believe the other one has it oh let me show you guys real quick so i use this tool Everything goes wrong when you're trying to record. All right, let me put you guys. Uh, let me get my headband, and I'll put you guys in my head. All right, guys. So, let me try this again. All right, so this one pretty much. Um, oh, see, I don't have it. I actually broke that. Uh, so pretty much what we're trying to do is, because once we put it back, it clips from up here. So it goes, it goes up this way and it clicks. So what we're trying to do is push down because you got this, uh, you got the springs on the bottom. So once you pry down, you're putting pressure down here and you're able to take them off. So that's that. I'll put it out here. So if you do, you're gonna need a. I'm not. It doesn't say the number, but you're gonna need. A, I believe it's a. It's a T T sixteen, or maybe like a T eight. One of those. Uh, so once you take this out. Put it to the side now. This one's like I mentioned, the clips are already broken on mine. But the way the right way to do is you'll get two clips right here. You pray down, pray down here, and then none of you guys can see that. But there's the two clips right there. And then once you do that, you're gonna pry the you're gonna pry it up and then this is out so now let's talk about this one so on this one i end up spraying it with black spray paint um it does look pretty fucked up but i've been going to a junkyard and it broke but that's normal so i've been going to a junkyard but most of them from 01 you're not gonna find them in perfect shape so I just decided to spray paint them. Um, I could, uh, well, I mean the only thing that holds it now is is this clip, and then the other one that that one's been there for a while. So, so now I have one, but I mean it's it's plastic. It's an old one. It's uh it's on its way out. Plastic sucks on these cars. But that's how you take this out. I'll put this to the side. Now, put this up here. Now you won't need to go. Uh, you you won't need to pop your trunk. And then there's this two handles. There's one right there, and then the other one's up there. So you won't need to pop those out. So you can get the seats to fold backwards. Okay, there we go. Oh man, this is gonna be super uncomfortable. Okay, right, so once we get that, now we're gonna get the headrest. The headrest, uh, yeah, well yeah, the headrest cover. Um, you may have different clips than mine. Or you may have the same ones one of them it's 
second one. There's another one down here. And we got the third one. Man, I don't want to lose these guys. Put them there. Nope, oh, almost lost it. All right, so once once you take all four clips out, you're gonna pry down towards you because there's a small clips holding them like this, and I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so here's the clips that I mentioned. So it just holds it up. I'll put this inside here. Okay, now here comes the hard part or easy part. I don't have a flathead, so I'll use this guy. So we're gonna lift this up. There's some small clips. Oh fuck, I lost it. I'm sure I lost it. So you guys gonna to take the headrest out. You pretty much gotta get those pins out. And then here comes your headrest. one and that's the last one <sighs> finally get that down I get okay so now for this one what we're gonna do is a 13 Take this out. Take that out. And this one has a little cover. Here we got this. Uh, I guess people somewhere they use them as a to hold to tie anything down. Oh look, this one's loose. So now the way that I found out, once I took all this out, I'll put this down here. Oh, oh, almost lost them. Hopefully I don't lose them, but we'll put them there. So once you take this out, you're gonna push up. You don't need to take this out. You don't gotta take this one out. So you just gotta push it around. Because they're not stuck together. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna have to remove the covers. And then, like I mentioned, you'll probably end up breaking. 
it's pretty it's plastic it's fragile okay so we got this one out now here comes the speakers uh these are aftermarket speakers so not the best wiring but i got some uh gbo they do uh they have a good kick Okay, now here comes the the last part there is hopefully the camera catches that so there's a clip here and then there's a clip down here so you're gonna get your hand you're gonna go under right at the speaker and all you're doing is pushing up you, could, you guys could probably see my fingers so you're gonna push the clip to the side and push the the speaker or the cover of the speaker you're gonna push it up and then there's some other two down here he's gonna push the other way or was it this way I can't see because of the camera oh there we go but you guys can see there's two clips here there's one there's there's one there's two this one so for this one i push that way for this one you gotta pry this way but i couldn't see because of the camera that's one out same thing get my hand go under put some pressure okay that's one Let's see. And then I have to push on the other side, it just came off. So there you go. So once you take those speakers out, or once you take out the mounting covers for the speakers, you're gonna get this and start pushing back towards you. Now, on this side, we're gonna do this. So there's a couple clips from the back. Oh, come on, I can feel the clip here. Okay, let's so check it out. So there's two clips. So this clip, now we gotta just push it down so it can come out. Okay, so once we get this clip out, we're gonna push out. <laughs> Using the seatbelt to put some pressure. Now, there's a trick that I'm not sure if you guys wanna follow, but Same thing, I'm gonna push back. So he's probably. So you seen what I did there? So now, up to you guys, but I don't wanna run the hassle to take this part of the seat off. And usually once you put the clip, once we put the clip, so the clip's gonna go back this way. Uh, that's the way we took it out. So now what I'm gonna do, it's up to you guys, but I'm gonna do this just because I know Hondas, 
or Toyotas, they have this trim cut so you get the seat out. That's what I'm gonna do on my, on my situation. I don't wanna take this out and then unscrew. I believe it's like a another 13 down here, but that's what I'm gonna do. So let me go get something to, to cut this real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is my ut my utility blade, and uh, just gonna try to cut down here. Also, be careful with your seats and yourself. You don't want to cut yourself. Now, this is gonna make it a lot easier to install back. I believe my blade stole already. But I'll just keep going. It looks pretty good. So now when we put the clip back, it's going to hold it in place. It's not going to move. And if it does, it's tucked in in the corner. They won't be able to see that. Now let's do this side. So same thing right in the center. So like I mentioned guys, be careful. You guys seen on the first one that I did, it came out flying. Almost hit the, the seat. Okay, here, let me change the blade. See if it's any good. Yep, still good. Brand new on this side. All right, let me try it right here. Just in case I hit, I hit I don't hit anything. Alright, so slow. If you guys have another idea of how to cut this a lot easier, go for it. But uh, that's the way I'm doing it. Just because I don't want to struggle taking everything off. I brought this as well. Let me see if this works. Oh, perfect. All right. And here we got this. And uh, so here we got the cover, right? You can see it. I got to take a step back. So we got this out. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get some alcohol and uh, just because I've been touching it and start spraying it. So we'll see how this looks, guys. Now, oh, look at this. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. All right, I'll probably. Um, Probably stick this back. So it was day 13, month 901. Oh <laughs> That's cool. Alright, we'll get this out of the way. And start painting guys. So hopefully hopefully my GoPro got everything. Um I don't wanna do this back again all over again but all right i'll see you guys in a bit
All right guys, so check this out. I'm pretty much done with my wiring. Um, all I'm just waiting is for the uh, mid subs. So pretty much the back ones are just gonna be nothing but base. And uh, I was waiting for this bad boys here. It's a two way, it's a two, two way crossover. We go so pretty much this goes with your uh, factory uh, speakers the end and then the woofers go with the new speakers that you're installing and then you got Twitter the tw tweeter I believe that's what you say tweet tweeters for the small speakers um, I won't know the difference once I get the extra speakers um, they only need to have bass but the ones that I have it's a coax speaker I believe um, so this one's had this one here so this is for the voice and that would be like for the uh, this would be super low bass that's where it is so the other ones that are coming in are maybe a little bigger than this with the bigger magnet and um, all this it's not gonna be paper i believe it's either plastic but not paper so this one is i believe this one's plastic but and it's only rated for uh oh, they fell off so it's only rated for one one fifty watts and the ones coming in are 300 watts 300 to 400 watts i believe so they're a lot better and i'll probably have a better um sound quality on bass um so that's that's how it's going right now just a little quick update and we'll start installing the cover see how it looks so that's uh, that's the that's another reason why i took it off because i wanted to work on my speakers so we'll find out we'll see how the the product looks like once everything's done The GoPro was in um, capturing the video, but so let me uh, let me show you guys real quick. So remember this, remember the the cut that we did. You're gonna slide the seatbelt in, and then just from top to bottom, the uh, this plastic clip should clip on. Same thing on this side. From, so you're gonna go in top and then bottom. And then uh, if you guys 
one my opinion this is a lot better and a lot quicker and I, as you guys can see you guys can't really tell that it there, there's a cut there now for this one i did mess up but don't forget about the clips make sure you put the clips on before the the for the headrest so get that get them done before you put the cover i almost forgot until i noticed so we got this done um we have this but dude, this bad boy is gonna be now this one's this one okay so we'll click this on Oh, it's already all right so that's already it's already uh, I already clicked on it's already uh it's already on there all right guys so the the plastic uh this I guess the the cover for the speaker is already on there it's nice and tight it's not going anywhere so that's there now let's get this guide this way yep okay so for my silvers okay so this my now this fell off so i have to uh have to make a new one all right so i'll make a new cut here so that way the the new cable fits so much I have a mess and I'm sure I won't find those clips it's plastic by the way There we go. All right. So we're pretty much almost done. Now all I gotta do is put my speakers in, but I'll pretty much do that at the end because I gotta drill this one. And like I mentioned, these are not the ones that I'm using. I'm using some different ones. But just check this out, it looks a lot better. Looks way better, actually, uh, than a little dark uh, section or semi-dark, it was already fading as well. So this will actually look a lot better now. So it looks way, way better, guys. Definitely, if I'm sure some of you guys will have this issue where it's it's faded. Definitely recommend it. Take it off. I did I did go pretty heavy on the on the spray paint. So, but at least we'll know how to take it off and put it back on. So now to the next part.
mal am Baby. There's some clips on the bottom. There we go. There we go. All right, that's it. Now to find the clips. Got a couple on here. Well, careful with the blade. Got those guys here. Oh man. And I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Now where's the small tab? All right, I'll, I'll look into it, but that's it guys. So now I'm uh, gonna put everything back and then I'll show you guys the end result. So that way this video is not too long. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, this is your module for your antenna. So that's how, uh, there is some E46 that will have the antenna this way and you'll see the shark tail on top, but for the A46 that don't have the shark tail. Or they also have a small antenna instead of a shark tail. But this is it. They pretty much use the defrosters as an antenna. Pretty neat. All right guys, well, let me put everything back and then uh, we'll show the end results. So they arrive actually before Friday. So these are the speakers that I'll be putting on the rear of the E46. Uh, I just tried one. The bass sounds pretty good. So, but I'm not gonna say I recommend them, but I'll give them a try and see what happens. So for the front ones, I actually had to glue the bracket that comes with it. So this is a uh, six inch uh, coax speaker. That's what they call them when it comes with the voice or, or the tweeters on the center. So we got this one. You guys can see I use some clear adhesive. I use this one. So we got this one done. I'm prepping this one. It's for the driver's side. I got the passenger side ready. There we have it. So it's not going anywhere. Just wanted to show that real quick, guys. Then also for this one's. I may end up respraying them again. I have, a, I have a spray can down there. So I'm gonna do that, let them dry it. Probably do two coats. Uh, it is kind of rough because some of the adhesive stay there. But I was thinking of uh, of uh, doing some vinyl wrapping them maybe, black. But for now, I'm just gonna spray paint them. And also, you're gonna end up with this, like I mentioned. I believe I said that in the video. It is a uh, old plastic, so it will crack. So like here, right here. But I end up using some adhesive. This one as well, you guys can see there's the joint right there. So this one was cracked, I fixed it with you guys want to know the glue i used it's this one 
it's not watery it's more like a gel adhesive but it's pretty good recommend it all right let's get back to it Okay, we have this one. Alrighty guys, so there's the final product. This is how it looks. Mm -hmm. Don't actually turn this right now. So now don't mind the side. The side uh uh the side Don't mind the side fenders, um, I'm gonna spray paint them and then um, 
install them so right now i'm actually it arrived on time this tape it's actually good so i already wrapped some of the door panels on the speaker so i'm actually gonna do this one now so it's uh i want to say it's like the oem it looks like the oem one the oems like kind of furry cloth looking tape this one's the same one i bought it on amazon i wanted to give it a try and uh so far it's doing good it's pretty sticky here's a good example see how it peels everything back so i won't say i highly recommend it because uh i don't know how it's gonna react once uh it's out there but i'm sure it beats better than putting electrical tape but look at that looks good so that's one side i'll get this side now Now this cable I had a, a rear camera, so that's why it's there. You guys won't have that. A backup camera, there we go. All right, guys. But it just looks ten times better with the rear back uh, seats. It looks ten times better with the black. It looks ten times better. It looks. 10 times better, especially with the black seats that we have in the back, the black leather seats. It makes it pop out more being black than uh, having a faded purple color on this, uh, on this uh, top panel or uh, back cover. And now once I spray, uh, spray paint this one, so it's gonna look a lot better. Hopefully, fingers crossed, but we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. That's right, a quick update. You guys can see I have the original six or the original seven spoke 17 inch rim for the 325CI, but it's actually to do then I did my research and everyone says to use kerosene but so we're gonna give that a try and see what happens I'm gonna start with that one
Mm, it's not doing shit to it. This was already peeling. No, oh, well, I'm just gonna rinse it out and try to take as much as I can with my hand. Well, this is what 30 minutes of just doing it by hand looks like. And then I'll just get that side once I finish this side. Um, it comes off. So the owner, he pretty much did a heavy coat, but there's some parts where it was super, super thin and it just rips off right away. But I'll give an update. All right, so it's been an hour. This is the front one. My freaking fingers are hurting. This is the back. A pain in the ass guys so now I'm just gonna keep taking as much as I can but you guys can see it's coming off little by little now the inside of the barrel um, I'll probably do is uh, keep spraying uh, WD-40 until it gets loose so every time I go wash the car I'll try to power wash the inside we'll see what happens Alright guys, so this is the second day of me scrubbing and uh, I pretty much end up going with glue on. It's doing the job, but I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. So I got myself a, a little plastic razor. So look at that. Some here on top. I need a little bit more. It's so pretty much I've been doing it scrubbing the last past two days. So it gets to the point where it's just too soft. You take it off. So right now I'm just taking off as much as I can. Then I'll get a, a microfiber or I'll probably stay with the, just a regular rag and then I'll start cleaning. If not, I'll use a microfiber towel. But that's the bag. This is the front. So Gugon is doing his job. So when you apply Gugon, make sure you spray it. But once you spray it, let it sit for like a cool tops, maybe two minutes, and then start scrubbing. Or in my case, use a little uh, plastic razor blade, and that will clean a lot faster. So now, let me show you guys what the next process will be. It'll just be a regular towel. Now I'm, I'm going with this dirty towels that I have, just cause they're rough. Not like the microfiber, but they're, they're uh, pretty soft. And cause it's rough, it's actually helping me out. Take some of it off.
All right, guys, there we go. So I got as much as I could with the rag. Makes it a lot easier. Um, I do have some some spokes that still have some, um, but I mean it looks a lot better than when we started taking out the plastic dip. Now there still is a bunch on the inside, but I'll probably get that with the power wash every time I wash the car. And I'm only leaving them just for now, for a couple months until I find the wheels that I'm looking for. But as of right now, I'll just be rocking this 17s. And here's, that's the driver's side. Let's check out the passenger side. But it's been three hours since I started uh, scrubbing. So it was yesterday, I spent probably four hours. Then today, another three hours. That's eight hours. So I'm kind of happy uh, how they turn out as of just now. And uh, not having to have a plastic peeling off here and there or look like the wheels were were black and gray but I also used the uh, scrub pad use that it came in handy as well but once it gets a uh, cover of uh, the plastic dip it just doesn't scrub anymore but I'll take some shots from outside see how the car looks so this is how the wheels look during daytime and that's how the car sits with the lowering springs you guys can see that I have my dog inside the back does tuck in a little bit more than the front but so this bit is pretty much within uh, me fixing the back uh, speakers and me removing the plastic dip on the wheels so this video will be pretty long so that is just the driver's side So the question is, why did I sell my wheels? Well, the reason, let me get in the car. Let's see if I can set up. You guys probably see me. All right, so the reason why I sold the wheels, um, just like I I mentioned in the first video, I was driving a couple good miles out there. And uh, what I was trying to do is make sure that uh, my wheels were uh, getting cambered from inside. They were getting cambered from inside. So now my wheels were uh, 18s by 10.5 the downside about it is that on the front because they were too wide and the offset was 35 I believe it was between 20 25 or 35 the offset now the front ones I had to use a 10 mil spacer the back same thing I had to use a 10 mil spacer the back one was a clear so I was good in the back um, just the front was the only issue I was having now because I was running 
uh, 18s by 10.5 and adding an extra spacer so at the end of the day I could say I was running almost uh, 18s by 11 or maybe less but close close to it now my wheel hub this will be my third set I run out I replace uh, just because the front ones were too wide so that means that my uh my wheels my hub my hub centric bearing was uh working harder because it had a big wheel it was an 18 it was too wide and it's the front the front sucks so i, I replaced so this would be my third set so i replaced them um i didn't want to go through another set so I'm deciding to just doing a, a 18s by 9.5 by eight eight and a half in the front maybe. So I'm looking for a new set of rims. Um, I had found I had found a couple of them, uh, but mostly they're either 18s by 9.5 or 18s by 10 all around. And I'm just trying to avoid that. I don't want that. I don't want to run wide wheels. Uh, the other side is because my car is by an inch and a half higher no by a I believe it was an inch or inch an inch and a half around there so I want that to, uh, to stay the same so that way I don't have to uh, worry oh you, I gotta slow down on the bumps or my ride's gonna be rough um, so that's that's the reason I just came to the park right now I took my dog for a walk He's, a, he's in the back but that's the reason guys uh now this video is gonna be within uh me fixing the back so this is how it looks at the end of the day looks nice the smell of paint went away already you guys can see that but at the, at the end of the day, uh, the sound system sounds a lot better. It sounds way, way better. And we actually have some bass. So that's a plus on my side. So it has good bass on it. Um, I was managed to do the system. Also, the back speakers that I had are now in the front. The front ones uh, were already trashed. So I swapped them. I swapped the back ones and about some mid subs for the back so we'll keep in that uh so far it sounds good but we'll keep an eye on those speakers um just because they were a little bit smaller because i believe this ones are six and a half and the back ones were six inch speakers not the ones that i have are six but they're way uh the speaker is six but the mounting But, uh, what can we see? But even though it's a six inch, the speaker itself, it's a little thicker than six inches. So the speaker itself is six, and what's holding the speaker on the side, the mounting plate, it's actually half an inch bigger than what it should be. So that's one downside about it but other than that it's doing good so i'll let you guys know what wheels i get uh maybe in a couple months i'm still looking for some 18s by 9.5 if i find 18s by 9.5 square i'll get them but if not then i'll stick to staggered setup which will be uh 18s by 9.5 or 18s by 10 in the back and then probably 18s by 8 or 18s by 8.5 maximum will be 18s by 9 in the front just to keep that clearance and uh, I could probably get all matching tires if I stick with 18s by 8.5 and 18s by 9.5 I could probably run 225s 45s 18s and probably have a little stretch in the back and maybe uh in the front it won't be of a big stretch but it'll be a tiny stretch 
but that's gonna wrap the video guys if you guys have any questions uh you guys can always message me on um uh, ig i'll put it somewhere around here and then um or you guys could comment down below if you guys have any questions on my car this uh just throwing this out there the wheels are the uh, original ones they're 17s by 8 or 17s by 7.5 i believe so they're like this much and the wheels that they have it's a uh, 225s 45s 17 i believe that's what they have but once i get the new wheels i'll probably sell these wheels for 100 bucks or less where it wants to keep them um when i sold the wheels I pretty much sold my the wheels that I had and tires and I got money on top and uh, all right so how I got these wheels is because I sold my wheels the guy bought my wheels but he actually gave me his wheels because if I would have sold my wheels my car would have been on jack stands so I wouldn't be able to use my car so he pretty much I sold them for 700 and uh, he gave me this the, the wheels are decent just didn't like the plastic dip some parts were already peeling off so I had to take it off and make it look good but other than that the car's looking okay but that's about to change so we'll see all right guys have a good day and I'll see you guys soon